last weekend here? Yeah, it is. Last weekend at home for my six years of college, too. Uh, but, you know, it's exciting. Um, you know, my family's coming up to see my uh, senior game, uh, you know, and you know, hopefully we get two wins. I'll be on the feet at McNamara Arena. You pointed out a couple weeks ago that you played in a lot of gyms and sometimes y'all run together. What's going to be your memory of this place when you go? Um, I think me coming back from the broken foot. Uh, I remember that when I stepped on the floor. Um, you know, a lot of people probably would have, you know, walked away from the game after two surgeries, but you know, I was able to come back, and you know, I attest that to my passion and my dedication to the game. So I always remember that. You glad now that you chose the 60-year option to come back and, and oh, give yeah, it some more run? Definitely. Um, you know. I've, the year has been great. Um, you know, I've, I've loved all the guys on my team. Love Coach Altman, um, but you know, I'm really glad I came back for another year. When you look at the decision to transfer here, did you get out of this experience what you wanted to in terms of oh, yeah. development? For sure. Um, you know, I, I would have done. Out of two years, not bad. I would have took the broken foot out, but I, yeah, I definitely did. You know, I, I want to be an impact. I want the ball in my hands. And I want Coach to put that trust in me to lead this team, and you know, he's done all that, and I've set myself up to possibly be a national um, title contender. So you know, I'm, everything I wish for it happened here. So do you think, how much do you think you'll think of yourself as a duck in five or 10 years? Oh, a lot. You know, I got two rings right now. Uh, you know, all the fans here, you know, show me a lot of love. And, you know, obviously I did go to Villanova for longer than I did here, but, you know, I'm a Wildcat and a duck, but duck first. You look at all those brackets and envision a, a meeting between your two schools? Oh, I, I said the storybook ending would <laughs> be Villanova against Oregon Ducks in the national championship game. But, you know, we have to have a lot of wins before we get there. So, you know, I'm focused on, you know, the next game right now. And, you know, if that happened, you know, I'd be great. But, you know, right now, it's focused on games to game. Both games down in L.A., you guys had double-digit leads that slipped away. Is there a discussion about, hey, we, we, we get a lead, we need to start keeping a lead? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we had both those games won, you know, and came out with one win. Uh, you know, we played two good teams. It was just us that, you know, gave up, you know, the win against UCLA. If we just stuck to what we did and, you know, kept rebounding, kept defending, you know, we would have been fine. Um, but, it's, you know, it's just a learning experience, you know. You know, we dropped one out in L.A., but, you know, We'll, we'll see him again, I'm sure, and uh, you know we just got to keep um, getting better and looking to the next game. You know we got Utah next, so we can't dwell on UCLA. Got to get to Utah now. Because of how comfortable you guys have played at home, or how much success you guys have had here, is it going to help you guys at all that you're ending the season on the road before the tournament? Um, yeah, you know, you, at um, on the road you have a different mindset, uh, and especially with conference tournament and the NCAA tournament, you have to have that road mentality. And, you know, it's great to have our two games here, but, you know, the road is where it shows what type of team you are. Now that you've seen everybody once and teams have seen you at least once in the conference, do you feel like opponents are starting to uh, be a little more effective on defense at taking some of your strengths away? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, every team does that. You know, once you watch a team so much, watch so much film on them, play them uh, once or twice, you know, you get their tendencies, just like we got other teams' tendencies. But, you know, what makes us so good is we're so deep. So, you know, if they take one thing away, we could do something else, you know, that's uh, that they're not ready for. It. But, you know, we're just going to stick to what we do. Uh, I think we're good enough to, you know, stick to our basics, our blueprints of, you know, every game, you know, playing harder, playing smart together, you know, cohe have that cohesion. And, you know, if we do that, we'll be fine. Do you feel like flipping that around, do you feel like you as a team are able to be a play a little more efficiently in taking opponent strengths away? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, if we know that, you know, on this play they're going baseline, and if they don't, they're going to kick it to the big, you know, we can take that away. So now they have, they need a counter to it. Um, you know, I think we do such a great job in film and coach watch so much game tape tells us, you know, what we have to do and us having the experience, you know, we're able to translate that onto the court. So you know, I think going into the, our next couple games, you know, we'll be good. We just got to stick to our guns. Talking with the women's team earlier today about Megan, they said that she's out of the hospital. How's she doing? Oh, she's doing great. You know, I'm at home, you know, taking care of her, being Nurse Dylan. Uh, but, uh, you know, she took care of me when, you know, I broke my foot and she was there every second of the day. So, you know, I'm just trying to do the same thing. Uh, she always tells me, you know, focus on basketball. You know, I'm going to be fine. But, you know, I'm able to balance both. And, you know, all my coaches and all the players, you know, they're asking about her and everything like that. And, you know, they support me. And, you know, every which way, so you know, I'm happy I have them. Give me a self scout. What's the role Coach Alvin has asked you to play for this team? Um, to be the leader, you know, be the guy he could go to and, uh, you know, say, you know, Dylan, we need to get this done. And, you know, I translate to the players. 
um, also being that guy who you know gets stops, gets a rebound, you know things that you know he wants his uh, leader to do. And you know I'm fine with that. You know I've done that my whole life. You know I've led guys. You know we've won a lot, and you know I do the dirty work. And you know that's what you know my knack is on this team. Have you been able to touch the ball enough that you feel like you could enhance your your pro pot prospects as a ball handler? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've been a point guard my whole life. You know, being in college, I'm more of a combo guy, which makes me more versatile. But, you know, my father, you know, all my coach always say, just do things you're good at and everything else will fall in place. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we win a lot. You know, winning helps. Uh, and, you know, hopefully everything falls in place. And one day I could say, as a child, I dreamed to be a, you know, NBA guy. And you know, I put that jersey on one day. But right now it's just winning that national title that, you know, I'm thinking about. Thank you.